Hello, this is Michael Rashad. Popovers are a new feature in FileMaker 13, and they're very exciting. We're finding lots of different ways to use them, some of them very creative. And in this short video, we're going to show you how to build, how to use popovers to build and embed a video training session within your program so that your users can access training videos that are context sensitive while they are working. Down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a little video camera. And if I move the mouse over it, you'll see that it changes. Obviously, we're just displaying different images. And if I then click on it, it will open a popover, which at the top has a pop up menu. And below that, it has a web viewer, which is set to the value of this pop up menu, which is a global field. So when I select a video, it immediately connects to my YouTube account and starts playing the video. In this short video, we're going to talk about how you isolate and find the different products. To switch to a different one, you just simply choose a different one. Hello, this is the web viewer and the popover has been designed to show the actual video from the YouTube screen. You could make it larger, but if you made it smaller, you would then cut off the video window itself. Now when you are finished watching the video, you press the close button, which will clear the selector, which will stop the video playing, and it will close the window. If you were to just close the window itself without pressing this close button, then the video will still be playing in the background and you'll be able to hear it even though you won't be looking at it. We're now going to reconstruct or deconstruct all the steps to, that you need to take to have this work the way that it should work. The first thing that we've done is add a table to store our videos. And we have simply three fields, the category, the subject, and the URL. Normally, we would have an ID field, a primary key. But in this case, we're going to be using the URL as the primary key for, the, for our purposes. So we don't need an ID field. And we've got already posted our videos up to YouTube, and so we're ready to do the next step. We're now going to add a calculated field with the value of the module itself, and then followed by a carriage return in general. We'll make this a text field, and we're going to use this field as a relationship, or as a key, to relate to the actual video table, so that we're going to link the value of this table to the category in the video table. Here is the relationship between the products table, the field products we just created, and the category field in the tutorials table. And we're going to use this relationship to build the list of videos for the particular module. Now we've already added our global field called GVideo. And since it's a global field, it can be stored in any table. And if we click look at this, we'll see that it's set to use a pop-up menu. Now let's edit that pop-up menu. Product tutorials. Let's go inside it. Specify field. And you'll notice that we're using the first value as the URL. The second value is the subject. We're only going to display the second value. So the URL will be hidden, although that is what will be stored in the field and we're using it, starting it from the products table. So there's our relationship. So when we now look at our global field with the values, we see all the product videos and all the general videos. So it's context specific, but it also allows the user to see videos that are not specifically related to any particular module. In the popover, we have the G video field which displays the name of the video, but actually stores the URL. And the web viewer itself is just set to the value of that global field. Now for sizing, the popover, I've sized it at 756 by 570, 756 by 570, and the web viewer at 721 by 494. So that's a good starting point for you. 
So let's look at it one more time. Simply move the mouse over the popover button, click on it, select the video that you want to watch, and away you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this useful and you'll be able to implement it in your solutions. Take care and happy file making. Bye bye.